KBYP HP 8660 video, probably 10 or 11, I forget. I have a couple backed up because the internet service is down. But this one is about getting to the A22 reference switch and reference amplifier units, and it's a little tricky. That assembly is accessed by taking this side cover off. And I think the unit's upside down, so I guess that would be the left side cover. There's about a gajillion screws. Take out the ones, obviously the handle has been taken off, down to that frame. Don't worry about these assemblies dropping. They're held in by, held in by framework. The thing you got to watch for is not pinching that cable. And these two boards down in here will come loose. If this is lifted up and this frame, this plate here is allowed to drop, and that can drop out and cause damage. So be very, very careful. Good to give those just a little bit of rotation. I know they're gold. They shouldn't oxidize long term, but I found a thumbprint on one of the gold plated boards. So gold does, does corrode, does get stuff on it. So it doesn't hurt to give them just a little bit of a very gentle turn. And watch for that board. Lift it up just slightly and reseat it to work the contacts a bit. To get the A22 assembly out, to get to the board underneath, there's a reference switch on top, and you'll see a, a cover on top and a cover on bottom. There's a, a PWB upside down under there. But this regulator assembly comes off. Take a, a couple of screws out underneath. Take four long screws with machine spacer standoffs out, and that thing just unplugs. And back in here, very inconveniently located, are four screws holding the A22 assembly in. Uh, four come out, three go back in. The one that's down inside that deep dark hole doesn't go back in. Uh, the top two I was able to reach with the handy dandy angle screwdriver. The uh, got to take the uh, power supply regulator assembly off to get to this one down here. And it's really difficult to get that fourth one out. Was able to just break it loose and use a small straight sl slot screwdriver sideways to very slowly remove it. Uh, the better way would be to take that little board off under there with that black wedge majigger. It's held on by two screws up here down in there but I didn't do it eventually I'm going to abandon possibly remove this power supply stuff but um, six screws out of the reference switch cover there are two tantalums inside I have to remove this unit in its entirety by popping off those four connectors, see how I marked them. Circle, 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 double line, double line, sideways line. So they uh, go back in the right place. And uh, just be careful not to twist these wires too much. Very carefully, gently rip, pull that out. And see that assembly down in here? Don't mess with that. Don't pick this up, tilt it down, and push against that. That's the precision 10 megahertz reference oscillator. It's in the crystal oven. So don't do anything to that. It's a sealed unit. If it's broke, then take it out and take it apart. But uh, be aware of precision assemblies like that. They may be gas filled. They may have nitrogen or argon inside so that things don't oxidize. So at that point, I basically have to get into this unit yet. That'll be another video. That's the, this has the option, I think it's 005, the precision uh, YIG oscillator. That's down inside there. So KBYP did it.